If you want to learn about some very ancient and unique looking Jagannath deities, stay tuned, roll the intro. Hey there temple nerds, it's me Prema. Welcome back to my channel. In this segment we check out some temples and find out a little bit about them. I have just come back from visiting Minnesota, so because of the weather it's been wildly hot and also raining every other day, or if not every day. Um, I haven't be, been able to go anywhere. But uh, January 1st, I did manage to go to Rajapur and see the deities of Lord Jagannath. So I thought I'd make a little video detailing um, some of the history behind these Jagannath deities. For those of you that don't know, Lord Jagannath is a manifestation of Lord Krishna himself. When you're looking at them, he's all the way on the right. Then right next to him on the left is Subhadra. And then all the way on the other side is Balaram or Baladev. Now this particular form of Lord Jagannath is considered the ecstatic manifestation that the Lord has for his devotees, which is why you see him looking a little bit different than what we're accustomed to seeing in, in other temples. Now Jagannath Mandir is a little ways away. If you're leaving the ISKCON campus and you're on the main road, you would take a right and you would walk, walk, walk. It would take over an hour for you to walk. It's better if you have a um, rickshaw and it'll take you about 20 minutes and it's it's worth taking the rickshaw as opposed to walking. So you'll pass a lot of... You know what? We've been over this before when we went to Sri Darangran. We're not going to do it again. So if you don't know how to get there, watch the Sri Darangran video. It tells you perfectly we visited Jagannath Mandir at that time. Once you get to the temple, you'll see a big, beautiful entrance. There's a walkway straight in front of you. All the way at the end of the walkway, you'll see a little cute gift shop with some little things that you can buy. On the left on the walkway, you will see a deity of Garuda. Garuda is facing the deities of Lord Jagannath. You'll see in many Vaishnava temples, Garuda will be standing outside of the temple. Uh, because he's the vehicle of Lord Vishnu and he's waiting in attendance to serve Lord Vishnu. I kind of think of it like a car parked in a garage. Then on the right of that same walkway you will see the deities of Lord Jagannath, Baladev, and Subhadra. And these particular deities have a fascinating history. Over 500 years ago there was a devotee named Jagadish Ganguly who lived near Mayapur. And every year he used to go to uh, Puri for Ratha Yatra. Eventually he became old and he became blind and other people found him too much of a burden to travel with so they wouldn't take him anymore, which of course broke his little heart. Then one night Lord Jagannath appeared to him in a dream and told him that when he goes to take his early morning bath in the Ganges, a log would touch his head and it would restore his eyesight and he wouldn't be blind anymore. Then Lord Jagannath instructed him to take that same log and bring it to the nearby village and a devotee carpenter would carve a deity of Lord Jagannath for him. Now this particular carpenter had deformed hands due to leprosy. He will refuse at first, but once he's finished making the deity, he would be cured from his disease of leprosy. That morning, Jagadish Ganguly woke up and he went to bathe in the Ganges and just like he said in the dream, a log floated along, touched his head, and he was cured of his blindness. Of course, he was shocked, surprised, ecstatic. He took the log, went to the devotee carpenter, told him to make a deity of Lord Jagannath, and just like predicted in the dream, the carpenter said no because his fingers are deformed from leprosy and he couldn't carve the deities. But Jagadish convinced him to carve the deity, saying that once he was done, he'd be cured. So in a lot of pain, the carpenter did the service, and lo and behold, once he was done carving the deities, his leprosy was cured. The carpenter was ecstatic, Jagadish was ecstatic, and in a few nights, Lord Jagannath came to Jagadish again in a dream and told him about some nearby neem wood that should be cut and made into a Subhadra and Balaram deity. And of course, that same carpenter was more than happy to make those deities now that he was cured of his leprosy. However, over time, Jagadish Ganguly had passed away and the worship of those same deities had stopped. The temple fell apart and a forest grew around it. Now, about 70 years ago, maybe a little more, 
A local villager had seen a unique looking blue flower growing out of a termite hill. So he went to investigate it. When he did, there was a small voice calling out, please give me some water. And he's shocked. Of course, he thinks maybe there's a child trapped in, in the termite hill or something. So he's digging up the termite hill and he finds these beautiful deities of Jagrat, Baladev, and Subhadra. What's even more astonishing is, as, as we said before, Jagannath, Baladev, Subhadra were made of wood. Neem and that one Ganga log. But somehow, the termites hadn't eaten that wood at all, even though centuries had passed at this point. Um, the wood was still in perfect uh, order. So here a small temple was built and the deities again were being worshipped. There was an old pujari that was taking care of these deities and he realized he wasn't longer for this world anymore and he was looking for an organization that he knew could take care of these deities. And after a long search in 1978 he gave uh, the property and the deities over to Iskan and Iskan built a beautiful temple to these Jagannath deities and they've been there and worshipped very happily ever since. temple we can see there's an open field here with kind of a marble structure this structure is used for a festival called Snan Yatra Snan means to bathe so this is a festival where devotees come to bathe the Lord when it is the hottest time of the year Lord Jagannath wants to cool down so they bring the deities of Jagannath quality of Subhadra here and devotees will bathe them in cooling juices like coconut and water you know. If you walk further along the wall, you'll see that there's a small samadhi here of Jayananda Thakur. Inside the samadhi is his jacket. Jayananda Thakur is the very first saint of ISKCON, and he's an absolute legend in the devotee community. He is known for starting Rathiyatras in the Western world. He gave everything to the movement and was an example of a pure devotee. He eventually died from cancer in 1977. He was very dear to Srila Prabhupada who said that he'd gone back to Godhead. Srila Prabhupada also instructed that his picture be placed on the Rathiyatra cart for the Rathiyatra festival. And we have continued that um, tradition ever since. So I hope you like this video. This is just part one of two parts about Jagannath Mandir here in Rajapur. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe, check out the links below to see how you can support me. Thank you so much for watching my videos. As always, be good to each other and be good to yourselves. And thank you for being dumb. Good. Bye. What kind of dance? Jai Jagannath.